have to talk. And it's serious. Um, I know, I know we've been through so much together. So many great memories. But I think it's time that I, that I move on. Um, move on with my life to better things. And it, it, it really, it, it, it isn't you. Um, it's me and just where I am at in life right now. Um, don't, don't look at me like that. I, you knew this was gonna happen. And we still have the memories, you know, the, all the times that I got addicted to you. And just because we're breaking up doesn't mean you can't keep all of the stuff I bought for you. You know, all those weird accessories. I don't need them. <laughs> you can feel free to keep all of those. You know, what about, what about all those times we went outside together? That's how we went to the park. Yeah, yeah, we did have a lot of good times. But I mean, we, we had our fair share of bad experiences as well. You know, I'll, I'll never forget the, um, the first day I saw you. It, uh... It was really, it was love at first sight, and, and I, you know, I don't know if I'll ever feel that way about anyone else, but, <laughs> you know, I've, I've outgrown you. <laughs> but it's time we said goodbye. And I gotta be honest, it, it is it is because I found someone better, someone more suited to me, you know, someone that looks, you know, I just they do look a tiny bit better while I'm using them, and that they, they last longer in bed. Yes, you can. You can meet her. I, if it's if you're not, if you're not gonna be weird about it, okay? It's got a, it's got a longer battery. That's why it lasts longer in bed. <laughs> this was a really weird start to the video. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for a brand new switch. Um, the only way I could really bring you guys into this experience with me is by doing my first ever unboxing video. And I've never, <laughs> not having done one before, I'm really not sure how people set these up. I guess they just don't do their face on camera at the same time, but that felt weird for me. So you're gonna get this really awesome view of me opening the brand new Nintendo Switch, while at the same time getting this less awesome view of my face with a big black bar in front of it. Let's go! <laughs> I'm gonna do this pretty quick, give some opinions, some thoughts as I open it all. I'm very excited, but I'm also going to then go away and spend some time with the system and try and transfer everything from my old Switch to my new Switch and see how easy that process is, in case any of you guys are wondering, and then get back to you, which will be like instantaneous for you, with how my experience went with it and the battery and all of that. I'm gonna try and make this as fun as possible, so uh, let's just shut up and do it. I feel like I'm supposed to have a calm, relaxed voice while I do this. Kind of soothing, like Bob Ross, ASMR. Oh yes, that is very, um, new. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm surprised it wasn't like, I, I thought I'd have to stab something, but apparently it was already uh, pre-stabbed. Oh man, I remember this, it was like three years ago. The only live stream I've ever left up on the channel was the live stream of me going and buying my Switch for the first time, because one, it kind of became a moment in history, I guess, because I never anticipated my channel to take off and be so Switch themed after that moment. And I remember rushing home, doing the speed limit, but rushing home and uh, sitting on my bed in my old room in Canada. Technically, my, my Switch is a Canadian Switch, so it's nicer than other Switches. <laughs> Oh, uh, rushing home, opening it, Breath of the Wild, and it, it looked just like this. It's weird reliving this moment. I'm really excited. Um, so my friend Dreamcast guy actually has already opened one of these, and the first thing he said was these Joy-Cons, they felt nicer. So, uh, he said that the, the plastic felt different. It does. It almost feels rougher like not in a bad way I don't really know how to explain it but this feels like it has a gloss and this feels like it has a matte finish that's how I would explain it I can't visibly see a difference though so something I'm gonna try and figure out for this video is how easy it is to transfer where is my actual switch all of my saves and data from this switch onto this one so it can permanently replace it and a couple of things I'm really excited about is uh, this switch I can just take that Joy-Con off like that because the little connection thingy is broken and it's always annoyed me, but this is brand new, baby. This ain't going anywhere. I like that. Also, if you remember, 
I scratched my Switch a couple times on the dock. Remember when that was an issue that no one talks about anymore, but is still an issue, I think? I did scratch my screen. It's nice to not have to look at that, so I don't really notice it anymore, but it's nice that it's not going to be there anymore. Other than that, obviously, they're going to look exactly the same. Again, if, you, if you're new around here and you didn't watch my last video, this isn't a new Switch. I mean, it is. It's a better revision, but it's not supposed to be that. It's not marketed that way. It's just when Nintendo were developing the Switch Lite, they made a new processor for it, and they just decided to throw it in this Switch because it's better. And that processor is easier on battery life, and apparently even makes the games look a little bit better. <laughs> the resolutions are a little better now on this one. Again, it's not supposed to be an upgrade. You can go out. If you can afford to go out and buy it, sure. But you're essentially, you're buying exactly the same thing. It just has better battery life. I very much doubt we're going to see any difference in resolution without actually doing a side-by-side. -side. And I know I have other Switches sat here on my table. I've actually, I, I've been trying to buy broken Switches because I want to build a new set. No, you don't. I want to build a new set for my show and I want to have Switches behind me and I don't want to obviously put new <laughs> expensive Switches behind me. So these are actually, I got these really cheap, uh, broken. One's actually a demo unit that uh, it just plays videos and won't actually play any games, but... So I'm gonna get rid of this thing, it's not here when I come back, and now I'm going to try and figure out the transfer progress. What was he doing behind me? <laughs> I did not turn that on. I literally turned the camera on and then it just turned itself on. I guess because I just put it on charge. The whole reason I just set this up was because I wanted, I realized I didn't capture the moment where I did actually turn it on for the first time, so that was very lucky that I, I, I But you won't believe this, or maybe you will, I don't know your life, but I moved down here and I put these switches here and there was a, like a thing of soda here and my big freaking monkey hand just went and knocked it all over the two switches, the new one and my old one. And you can kind of see this is all wet and soaked through. That's, that, that's, I'm not lying. My switches smell like soda now. My brand new switch already smells like soda. This is why I can't have nice things. <laughs> so annoyingly, this, the charge point is still on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. Right now, it's a bad thing. The Americas. I, I like how excited the noises get as you go through they like get more and more excited um oh i can't show you my wi-fi hold on okay take your time what, what there we go okay i guess i'm stupid wirelessly transfer one user and all their saved data to a nearby console yeah let's do that I will say the one thing I'm worried about is losing my saves or just them not transferring properly or corrupting. If my if I lose my Fire Emblem save after almost 40 hours, oh, I don't ever want to think about it. Oh, and my Dragon Quest Builders save. Okay, this just better this just better work. <laughs> it really hasn't been too bad. The new switch had to update like two or three times, but then it just asked me to log in, and that's where I found an issue because I realized I have two accounts, my Australian and my American. So this, so far, it's been like 10 minutes and I've got 20 minutes left and I should have a brand new Switch ready to go with all my save files. The real test is gonna be if I can just load up Fire Emblem and, and get to playing. Oh, while I'm waiting for this, I could actually, I could put on a screen protector. That's what I could do. The, it's, it's broken. It's broken. What? That is so upsetting. That's the last time I buy one of those in the mail. I have to go back into GameStop and get another one. Wow, that's, that's upsetting. I'm gonna have to be real careful with my Switch tonight. Just as the Ancient One foretold, it did only take like a minute to transfer the second profile because everything had already been transferred. So now both are on here. Setup is complete. So now we get the moment of truth. There's no way that it reinstalled everything in 20 minutes. There's no way. 
I know you probably can't see it, but the, it's all blank. So I'm, I'm gonna put in Fire Emblem, and I guess it's gonna have to like re-download some stuff, but hopefully... By the way, this is the first game I'm putting in the new Switch. I don't know if that means anything. Download what it needs to, and then I can pick right back up at my save. It's kind of annoying that everything isn't already downloaded. The next thing I have to check is I need to go to the eShop and make sure that I can re-download everything on my US profile. Yeah, all my save files. Cool. So it's just a matter of any time I want to play a game, I'm going to have to probably re-download all the updates and everything. But I mean, once it's done. One thing I'll say is, um... When you're doing this, it gave me an option of are you going to be playing on your old Switch still or just on the new one? I would recommend probably doing... I, I'm going to be playing on both because it actually erased... Automatically erased the profiles off my old one. So yeah, if you, if you want to leave your profile on both systems, make sure you hit... I'll still be using that old one. I think it's kind of rude that it deleted it because I mean, it's still my old Switch. I still... I still want my saves on it. Dragon Ball Fighters is 70% off right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, now I'm, I'm seeing some games that I, I have bought and they all say purchased. Yeah. Saturday morning RPG, purchased, one strike, purchased. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I should have every save file at least, so I'm good to just start playing some games. I guess we'll cut back to upstairs for my final thoughts. You know, that actually wasn't that bad. I've been gone barely 40 minutes. I was gonna spend some time with it, do some comparisons or resolutions and see how long the battery lasts. But then I realized that it is Saturday. I still gotta edit this video. It's getting kind of late. I'm really lazy, but also Dreamcast guy uploaded his video about it and it's pretty comprehensive and he's a really good friend of mine. So I'm gonna keep this video as just a cherished moment in time when I upgraded from my old Switch to my new one. And you can go and watch his video if you want a more comprehensive look. Now, let's be real here, guys. If you're new here, subscribe. But if you've been here for a while, you'll know that I don't really get into nitty gritty details about things. I just talk about my experiences and act like an idiot. <laughs> uh, but that was really easy. Like, I am, I'm done. And I, I don't feel like I should be done already. I don't feel like it should be that easy to transfer things over. I'm a little disappointed it didn't actually fully transfer everything over. And I wanted to easily just go to my game library on this new one and just pick the ones I'm gonna play and start downloading them, but now I have to go to the eShop and manually find them. It's not too bad. I'm kind of a special case where I have so many games, but I, I, I feel like for most consumers that have a reasonable amount of video games, less than an hour. And that's me taking my cameras around, setting all this stuff up and everything. It still took me like an hour to get up and running on this new bad boy, so for you it should take even less than that. But for now, we have the Switch Lite coming on the 20th, and we have this revision that's not really a revision, but it is technically a a revision getting rolled out to stores now the way you can tell is obviously by this new red box which I really like I mean I don't really have a preference here at these two boxes but I think this one looks really neat but that's gonna be your obvious tell if you do want to go out and buy one of these it's the same price so really, the only reason you should have to upgrade from the other Switch is if yours is broken, or falling apart, or the battery is shot, or the, there's something wrong with it that makes you feel like you just need a new one, then you're in luck, because the Switch is now a better. Or maybe you're someone like me, who has a YouTube channel, and if they make a video about it, they can claim it on tax, so, <laughs> I mean, why not? And I don't really know... What to do with this guy? I mean, we've had so many memories together. It, it's honestly sad that I'm not gonna play it anymore and it's just probably gonna sit on my shelf behind me in my videos. Like it's a it's a it's a moment. And I'm a very sentimental guy and I I do feel bad for this bad boy. These are my original Joy-Cons too. I just changed the shell, which was an experience that I also recorded. That video was a mess. But this is it, man. This this little handheld bad boy is the reason that you guys are probably even watching this video right now. Screw this guy, man! I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> I'll just charge it more often. I'm done with that one. I can't let go of the past. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned a little something, make sure you Sakurai Super Smash that like button. Hair flip all over that subscribe button. New videos every single day on the Beat em Ups channel is not something that I do. Rather, I put up videos whenever I dang well feel like it. So enjoy the next one. <laughs> Bye.